Hello explorers and welcome back to my channel. I am Passive the Art and today we are going to be watching a portrait study. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link below to the reference that I used. With that being said, I think this video would be a good like introductory video of like who I am. <laughs> so I'm here in California. It's an interesting state. I love the scenery out here. You know, I'm two hours away from the ocean. I'm two hours away from the mountains three hours away from a volcano and I think I'm like three hours from Yosemite I need to go it is a necessity I haven't gone yet um for various reasons but it's definitely something I'm going to this year I have to the redwoods are about six hours away from me I believe there is a waterfall on the beach in Point Reyes or I hope I say that I, I hope I said that right like, scenery-wise, it's an amazing state. However, with that being said, it is stupid expensive up here. Um, I have a two-bedroom apartment and it is $18.50. Granted, it is in a really nice area, but with how expensive everything else is out here, I don't know if California is going to be where I settle down super expensive especially since the company I work with doesn't do raises so I will definitely have to get either a new job soon or like move out of state so with that one time we'll just tell so I'm the oldest of 11 kids um keep in mind my mom and bio dad broke up before I was born so you know they own they, they each had their own set of kids I'm the first one in my family out of a couple generations on my mom's side to graduate from high school, yet alone college. So I have a degree in graphic design and animation. I ideally went to school so that way I can get a job with a game company or Pixar. I mean, my ultimate goal would be to be on the Zelda team out in um, Osaka, Japan. But I don't think I'm good enough for that. Maybe one day. It would be super awesome if anything do like a collab with a Nintendo. Ah, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, it's a huge Zelda and Disney fan. Um, with that being said, I, I, I originally went to school to get a four-year degree. However, by the time I had enough units or credits to get the two-year degree, I had already taken all of the art classes that were needed to get the four-year degree and I promise you my art skill was not good enough to get the to get the jobs that I wanted I'll go ahead and put like a little photo of what my skill level was back when I finished the last art class and this photo it actually almost made me quit art because of how much of a eye-opener it was to me it it showed me I wasn't as good as I thought I was, and it really humbled me. I couldn't get anything right in this photo. It was horrible. So after drawing this, I took like a month off from drawing, and I'm like, what do I need to do to get better? So I... I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I practiced the fundamentals. They're so, so boring to do, but I promise you, they are a necessity. I hate to say it, but those art teachers were absolutely right. Y you need them. It hurts my soul to say it. I mean, I'd much rather spend my day drawing, like, characters or, you know, learning how to draw landscapes, but no, you, you gotta practice the fundamentals. And so, I practiced the fundamentals, I learned lighting. I learned color theory, I learned all of this stuff on my own, even though, you know, my college was supposed to teach me that. Um, I went with a two-year degree because I didn't think paying another $20,000 for a degree that wasn't going to teach me the skills I needed was worth it. I, I learned more on my own from free resources, a couple books and an art class that I bought from another artist. I'll go ahead and leave a link to all of that stuff below, but let's say I spent 250 bucks on books and that art class. That art class at the time, I spent 
about 250 bucks, which I learned a lot more from that 250 than I did with a $20,000 degree. If I went with the four-year degree, it would have been $40,000. Now, I will say before you check out the link to the art class from that other artist, I bought it when it was on pre-order, so it was only about 125 to 150 bucks. It is full price now, and I do believe it is in about the four to five hundred range. But I promise you, it is completely worth it if you want to improve as an artist. I haven't finished the course yet. I think there's about 10 terms or 12. I stopped at term four, I believe. I need to get back into it. But he has taught me so much more than what I learned at college. It is incredible. All of that was literally just to say you don't need a fancy art school to learn how to draw. You just need to find the correct resources and practice correctly. When I say correctly, I mean like fundamentals, lighting, gesture, anatomy, color theory, and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, um, that's my little college journey. Oh, um, so for those curious about the breakup, we were together for like nine years, like right out of um, high school. And then last year in April, he made a pretty significant mistake that I couldn't forgive. That's all, I'm, all, that's all the deeds I'm going to give. And we broke up. We were actually engaged. I literally put the wedding deposit down on the venue a couple weeks before this. But with that being said, I'm a lot happier now that we're not together. But yeah, we were totally going to have like a Rapunzel themed wedding. <laughs> Which, you know, hindsight, it, it's best that we didn't. But, 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 I will say the cool thing about the breakup, the day I moved out was the day my pup Kratos was born. So, yeah, it, it worked out because now I have Kratos, the pupper, I have Evangeline, the glorious cat, and then I have Eleanor, the terror. <laughs> I'll go ahead and post photos of them at the end of the video. Um, Evangeline is the white and orange cat, and then Eleanor is the Siamese crazy cat. So now that you have like a little background on me, um, might as well just let you guys know some of my interest. Like I said, I'm a huge Disney fan. My favorite non-princess movies are The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Atlantis. I absolutely love those two movies. My favorite princess movie is Mulan. My favorite princess is Pocahontas. I like Pocahontas because of who she is as a character in that movie. She is a very open-minded person and a free spirit, which is what I am. Um, I know it's not historically accurate, trust me, I know. Because I love that movie so much, I actually looked up the history of the actual Pocahontas, which is absolutely tragic. Her personality traits in that movie is something that I relate to as a person, which is why she's my favorite princess. Oh, my, my other two favorite princesses, Merida and Tiana. My kitchen is actually a Princess and the Frog theme, and it has been so challenging, but it's a challenge that I have accepted. It's, it's, I have light green everything, and I have like little Princess and the Frog decor everywhere. So yes, huge Disney fan. I love video games. I'm a huge Zelda fan. Obviously, I got a war fan because my dog's name is Kratos. He's such a good boy, but he's a handful. Um, my favorite Zelda game is Twilight Princess. After that, it would be Majora's Mask. And then I would probably say Breath of the Wild. If, you know, Tears of the Kingdom is anything like Breath of the Wild, I'm sure it would be up there. Nothing would ever replace Twilight Princess in my heart, though. It is, just has a lot of like sentimental value to me. It's my first Zelda game I ever played and it came out at the time where I needed a game like that. I had a lot of like depression issues at that time and that game just helped me get through it. Oh, speaking of Tears of the Kingdom, I'm so disappointed in the collector's set. Like you guys have no idea. I am a sucker for collector's set. 
but if you were to compare this collector set to the Breath of the Wild one, it's a disappointment. Like, I want a figure or, you know, a fancy new um, switch carrier or, you know, like a fancy new map with all like those floating islands. But no, like, I'm already going to buy the art book when it comes out, so I, I don't really need it. The only other reason to get it is for, like, the steel book, which is okay, but I, I have a couple of them already and I do nothing with them. <laughs> and the pin set is just meh, meh, meh. But I'm still getting the game, regardless, just not the collector set. And I probably... I actually need to request off the date, the release date, so that way I can spend all weekend playing it. Speed of which, I might like 98% complete on Breath of the Wild. I need to finish that before the game comes out. I think I'm just missing like a couple locations on the map, because I have everything else. I love Zelda, I love God of War, um, Horizon Zero Dawn was really freaking awesome. I do like the first Last of Us game. I did not like the second one. In my heart, it is not canon. I'm not going to go into too much details just because, you know, the TV series just came out. But I didn't like the ending of The Last of Us Part 2. And I didn't like Abby as a character. The Last of Us, I love the Uncharted games. Oh, Bioshock. I am a sucker for Bioshock. I might get some hate for this, but Infinite was my favorite. I loved Elizabeth. And then just like that big reveal of who Comstock was. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Like the ending left me speechless for a long time. Like it was one of those games where you didn't know what to do with your life at the end of the game. Yeah, Infinite's one of my favorites. Then I would say Bioshock 1's my second favorite, and then and the second one's okay. I'm a huge anime fan. My favorite anime of all time is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. ReZero is like trailing behind that, but depending on how it ends, we'll see where it ranks. Um, I love Sailor Moon, Madoka Magica, and Demon Slayer is good. Um, those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head, but I actually like manga more than anime. I know it's crazy, but I just love reading the source material. Favorite manga, obviously, Full Metal. And another one of my favorites is Full Moon Wo Sakashite. And then I would say Dead Man Wonderland is like right after that. It's kind of tragic that Dead Man didn't get the love it deserved. It's such a good it's such a good manga. But yeah, that, that's just about me if you guys have any questions totally just let me know i'm totally just gonna stop talking now if you guys have any, have any comments or critiques totally just let me know if you like the video just hit that like button and if you really like the video please subscribe i am gonna post a no talking version of this video just because i know not everybody likes to listen to the commentary but yeah i hope all of you have a great day and stay safe thanks for listening Bye.